I'm Jamit Maldonado. And I'm Jeanette Carrillo. And today we are doing our Physics 107 video project on projectile motion. For a hypothesis, we believe that an underhand serve will have a higher H max. We believe this because the ball is being hit in an upwards direction compared to the overhand serve. materials we use for this video are these four foot tall rods when they're stuck into the ground they're three feet tall and 10 inches and just a standard tape measure for this project we will be using the veneer video physics app and it's going to help us create graphs In this video, we will be looking for time and H max. We will also be looking for time and a half, distance, and range. The distance was 24 feet and nine and a half inches. To begin the calculations for the underhand serve, we took the average speed of a volleyball serve that was in kilometers over hour. It was 98.3. We converted that to meters per second. You end up with 27.31 meters per second. The sine and the cosine of 45 are both 0.71. You multiply that by 27.31 and you get 19.4 meters per second. To get T1 half, we took 0 meters per second and subtracted that from 19.4 meters per second and divided that by negative 9.81 meters per second square. You end up with 1.98 seconds. To get time, you multiply that by 2. That gives you 3.96 seconds. For a range, we took 19.4 meters per second and multiplied that by time, and we ended up with 76.82 meters. For H max, we took 27.31 squared, multiply that by sine of 45 squared, and then divide that by 2 times 9.81 meters per second squared, and you end up with 19 seconds. The distance was 27 feet and 1 inch. Once again, took the average speed of a serve and converted it to meters per second, which was 27.31. Then we multiplied it by the sine of 40 to get 17.48 meters per second. To get the cosine of 40 degrees, we multiplied it and got 21.03 meters per second. To find time and a half, we subtracted 0 meters per second minus 17.48 meters per second and divided it by negative 9.81 meters per second squared and got 1.78 seconds. To find a full flight time, we multiplied it by two seconds and got 3.56 seconds. To find the range, we multiplied the 21.03 meters per second times the full flight time, which was 3.56 seconds to get 
74.87 meters. To find H max, we took 27.31 meters per second squared and the sine of 40 squared and divided that by 2 times 9.81 and got 15.71 seconds. For our results, we concluded that an underhand serve had a longer time and T1 half had a longer range even though the distance was shorter and more seconds to reach H max compared to the overhand serve. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching our, our video. video.